Because here around the outside, uh, taking a look comes Will Stevens. And is he going to make it stick? I think he has. Too good an opportunity to let pass up now. He's going to give him no room on the exit of the bus stop chicane. So Jot van Aertert is out in the debris, but we know the drive can be good from that portion because just ask Sarah Bovey, who did exactly the same thing in her Ferrari, and Jot van Aertert can stay there. Although, has he going to touch wide now on the exit of La Source? Here comes Will Stevens. It's the outside inside trick. And who is going to blink first now at the bottom of the hill, heading towards Eau Rouge to a breast? Oh, go on then. Why not? With round the outside. Jot van Aertert, can he keep clear of the tyres? Yes, just about, but he's going to lose the position, I think, because the better drive will come from the Brit, and also good driving from Will Stevens because he edged Jot van Aertert towards the Ferrari. Still hasn't given up on this, mind. Wow. Jot ran the outside this time into Lecom corner. He's all over the curbs, though, and that can't be the quickest line through there. Will Stevens now underneath through the third bit of Lecom corner, and Jot van Aertert says, no, you don't, sunshine. I've still got power left in my United Auto Sports Orica. They are still two abreast. There's the potential for them to stay side by side or lap, you know, but it's not going to happen because out of Bruxelles corner finally, Will Stevens makes it stick for Panis. But remember endurance racing is boring. I can't stand it. Amazing stuff. Great stuff from both drivers.